Ready. Play. So I just asked how you are. You said you're okay, you're good. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you feel physically coming into this tournament at UTS. A uh, little bit better. Uh, the season was long, uh, so yeah, I was a little bit tired. Uh, when you play uh, tournaments and tournaments and tournaments and you are traveling all around the world, uh, it's not easy. But uh, yeah, after Shanghai, uh, I was uh, yeah, physically touched. Uh, so now I feel a little bit better and I'm ready to, to play here. And you're ready for the rest of the season as well? Yes, yes. Yeah, I take it like uh, yeah, a big uh, preparation for the last three tournaments. Uh, it's easier because uh, yeah, I like the conditions in yeah. indoor uh, and the two last tournaments are in France. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's easy. Do you plan your year and think about your year and, and think about this particular part of the season? Indoor suits your game, I think. It's where you've had a lot of success as well. So do you think I need to be in my best physical shape at this time of the year? Yeah, 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 it's important because uh, all the players are a little bit tired. So if you are in a good shape, uh, you can uh, do something big. And uh, I don't know if I can do it uh, this year, but I will try my best. Uh, I'm ready to, to fight on court and uh, it's uh, most important. Uh, outside of the slams, if there's one tournament you could win. Would it be Paris Bercy, maybe, or or is there another Masters maybe you'd prefer? Last year, uh, I would say uh, Mess because it was my uh, my hometown uh -huh. uh, and I won it. So mm -hmm. emotional uh, was uh, really really high. Uh, it was uh, yeah the, my biggest uh, moment in my career. I think biggest uh, title. Uh, now uh, now. Uh, for sure, Bercy. Uh, it's the uh, last uh, Bercy this uh, this year. Uh, next year will be uh, in uh, another place. Oh, really? It's yeah. changing location. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't the know. The change that. is still in Paris, but uh, different place. Not in Par in Bercy. Mm. So yeah, Bercy uh, for sure. Yeah. In France, indoor. Uh, it's a dream. <laughs> it would be a dream, exactly. Uh, talking of obviously, you obviously won Mets, and you had this incredible record in finals. We'll we'll talk about the feast match. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. But just just give me we a. We are not friends now. <laughs> sorry, but let's talk about the finals thing. This this was a statistic that people were talking about. When you go, people say you go on bear. They think indoor, and they thought the <laughs> finals record as well. Yeah. Tell us, did you did you have a different feeling, a different mentality going into finals? Yeah, yeah. Uh, against uh, Arthur, uh, the championship points. So I know. I was really, really close to to win uh, the my seventh uh, titles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I have a different uh, mindset uh, when I play final. Uh, I take it uh, like a big chance to to finish big the the week, uh, to have a good memory. Uh, in my career with the person I love. Uh, so when I come on court, okay, I say uh, a final, you don't have to play, you, you have to win it, absolutely. So you find a way uh, to, to leave the title at the end. I do want to talk about the feast match, just because it was so special. Uh, maybe one of my most enjoyable matches to watch this year. I remember when, when Federer came off the court after the epic match in 2008, and John McEnroe said, the first thing he said to him was, I don't know if it makes you feel any better, but that's an amazing match, the best match I've ever seen. And Federer said it, 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 it felt bad to lose, but being in such an amazing match. So can I just say thank you as a tennis player that you allowed us to uh, be part of this amazing spectacle? I mean, is that, is that any consolation? A little bit. Thanks, John. No, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It hurts. It was the greatest match that I was ever witnessed. With so much drama, I mean, you must have thought after all that you'd gone through in that four set, you were going to get that done at the end. I was hoping to, yeah, at a break point, but uh, Rafa really served well. I thought, you know, throughout the match, didn't give me too many chances, even though I won the sets three and four. But uh, I missed so many opportunities. Maybe in the first two, that I paid the price in the end, but uh, Rafa did well. I mean, it's got to be. Listen, I know you're feeling so much emotions right now, and I want to give me a hug. Cause thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Could you take? Did you feel? Yeah, th yeah. That was an amazing. Bit, but it's not easy because uh, yeah, you can uh, win a big title. Uh, after it was uh, against a good friend of mine, uh, so against Arthur, uh, I was super happy uh, for him. Uh, he deserved uh, this title. Uh, 
so much. Uh, he had uh, five big matches, so yeah, just congratulations to him. But after, yeah, I did my best. <laughs> I had a match point. I uh, dream about uh, this. Uh, do you? Match. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you still think about it? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first day, like 15, 15 uh, um, uh, per day, I was uh, thinking really? about uh, this point. Yeah. What would you do differently? Yeah, after my friend, I think I have to to go to the net. Yeah. You go to the yeah, net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, listen, we've had uh, a couple of, or we're having a couple of retirements happening right now. We've got Dominic Team here playing mm -hmm. the UTS. Um, tell us about Domi and, and, and his, you know, farewell from the sport. Yeah, yeah. It's sad to to see him uh, leaving from uh, the tennis life, but uh, yeah, he, he was, uh, yeah. One of uh, yeah my idol uh, when I was a junior I was uh, uh, watching him uh, at the TV uh, uh, when he played uh, Roland Garros uh, it was uh, amazing uh, for all the French crowd uh, so yeah it's a little bit sad he's a big champion uh, but uh, yeah I, I hope uh, it's gonna be okay for him uh, now and uh, it's uh, it will be a different life for him yeah. When you when you see players like Domi, who's in his early thirties and when mm. he's retiring, do you think about yourself and think about your own age? And then like, I need to start winning more titles soon because, <laughs> you know, you don't know. We yeah. don't know how long we're playing. Yeah, I'm still play. young. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I can play uh, like ten years. I think. Ten years. Yeah. If, if uh, you like it Gale, depends, more. Yeah, yeah. It depends of uh, your physical condition. Uh, I think uh, Dominic uh, had. Uh, problem with uh, his wrist so yeah. it's not easy to to come back uh, but yeah if I can uh, play uh, 10 more years, ten more years. <laughs> sign <laughs> yeah definitely you would sign yeah. for that um, obviously we also had Rafa announcing his retirement you yeah. never played him no, right I'm so sad yeah Roger and uh, Rafa when never play against when him. you first heard the news did you think oh, I never played him was that yeah, the first yeah, thing yeah it was uh, the first thing I practiced a couple of times with him, but never in uh, in match. So yeah, I'm a little bit sad to to see him uh, leaving from uh, tennis. Uh, yeah, it's a big legend, uh, but I think it's a it's a good decision uh, to stop at uh, Davis Cup in Spain uh, with Alcaraz with all the the sp uh, Spain uh, Spanish team. Uh, so yeah, it would be nice. I will uh, watch on, on TV. You said you practiced with him a couple of times. Yeah. Where? <laughs> in Bercy. In Bercy, Monte, okay. And uh, in Monte Carlo. In Monte I Carlo. played uh, the best set of uh, my life. Really? <laughs> in a practice set in Monte yeah, Carlo? and I took 6-2. <laughs> really? <laughs> It's, it's a practice set. I, I understood why uh, he won, uh, like, I don't know, 13 or 14 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, but you won 6-2. No, I lost. Oh, you I lost 6-2. Nice oh, sh <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, I, I don't know. Maybe on a practice day. What was um, what was his, his ball like in Monte Carlo to receive so, that? So heavy, so heavy. And uh, his forehand, he always finds a... Uh, a good angle uh, and uh, yeah if you put uh, one uh, ball like uh, no, nothing special uh, you cannot uh, come back on, on the point it's impossible <laughs> one more question do you have any superstitions uh, do you you know put a shoe on first or, or, or you know ask for a ball I want this ball because it's my lucky ball or yeah, yeah. I think I have some uh, some stuff li like this but uh, yeah, it's like automatic, so I don't know. Okay. But yeah, I like to um, to listen some uh, music uh, before the match uh, to choose my ball. I always um, do like uh, six uh, bounces. Six bounces. When I serve. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you take three <laughs> balls? Yeah, always. And which ball do you choose? Is there? Are you thinking now? I want this ball for the first serve. This ball for the second. Yeah, I take the. The, the better one, yeah. The best one yeah, for the yeah, first yeah, serve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the worst one for the second serve? Or the... So yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Doesn't. But it, it's uh, quite the same. Uh, so yeah, I take the, the faster one for the first serve and the uh, second serve. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Hugo. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.